So, I'm going to be doing another overhaul somewhat on my fish room. Especially when I can move fish outdoors. I'm planning on going with trying to heat the room instead because, um, we've all heard horror stories about heaters. And I can just not seem to have a week without something going wrong. So, you can see one sun-kissed shrimp back there, down on the leaf. That's the only one left. Because these stupid, I'm going to call them stupid, stupid Tetrafin Walmart brand auto set heaters will just stop working randomly. And then you'll unplug them, plug them back in, and they'll start working. I've never had one uh, break. I've never had one crack. But they just randomly start and stop working. And I don't understand why these, the heater stopped working and I lost all but one of my sunkissed shrimp. Now I have cherry shrimp over there in a tank that's completely unheated uh, that I just haven't scooped them out of, the one that I was going to turn into a shell tank, shellfish tank. And they're doing fine with no heater. I've seen a lot of people say that they do shrimp without heaters, but regardless, the heater in here decided to stop working, and I lost all but one of my sunkissed shrimp. So, definitely gonna look into switching over to just heating the room. Uh, it'll be a lot less of a hazard, I think, with all the plugins if I just heat the room and. I don't have to worry about heaters breaking, forgetting to turn them on, or stopping working. So, Tetra Fin Walmart Auto Set heaters suck. Two thumbs down. I've had them stop working multiple. This isn't the first time. I mean, this is my first real loss with it, but this I've had them stop working plenty of times. So, don't like them. Uh, Another uh, uh, interesting thing, I don't know if you can see that shrimp there, I had a cherry shrimp get into my blue velvet tank at some point, and I've started having uh, noticeably blue and red shrimp. So I've been picking them out, but I don't want to cull them, I kind of want to see how they turn out. Um, so some of these darker ones have like red spots on them. But there's a couple, like you can see how that one's like got reddish bronze on it. But there are a couple that are like light blue with red spots. Like this one right there that I can't get a good, a real good shot of. Maybe if I, right there. So, I think it's actually kind of cool. There's like two of them like that in here. Uh, so I'm not going to cull them. I'm just going to let them grow out and see how they turn out. So 